I've done a few recent longer and shorter form videos talking about the alignment of the club up at the top of the swing, especially if you are a player that struggles with slicing the ball. So these videos have talked a lot about as that swing gets longer, we don't want to get into too late off of a position. Usually that club works a little over the top. But let's talk about what I would consider to be one of the worst positions you can be in in the golf swing, and that is being short and vertical. So if you are a player that, whether it is you're a little bit older, it's a mobility issue, you've had a past injury, whatever it is that is keeping you from rotating and getting a longer swing, you don't have to have a long swing to play great golf, but we do have to match it up a little bit differently. So if you're a player that has the longer swing and you get the club in that laid off position, that's where that club usually works over the top. But if you are a player that is a, a little bit on the shorter side with the length of that backswing and you try this feel and you try to get that club a little bit more vertical or you're just doing this without realizing it and that club starts to get into a position where your swing is shorter but that club is starting to kick itself up and across the line a little bit more. This is going to be very difficult to play from and the reason is, is this club doesn't really have the time to shallow. So that is the whole reason when you have a longer swing, I prefer to see that club get a little bit more loaded down the target line so you can have that time for that club to shallow around you, have a little bit more time on your side. But if you're a player with a shorter, more vertical swing, you don't have that luxury of time. So that club has to get shallow very quickly and usually that is done in some sort of early extension uh, move where that the hips kick forward, head pulls back, get that gets the club to lay down. So this is where a lot of players will think, man, I need to stop early extending. I need to kind of stay in my posture. But that's not really the main issue. The root cause is that club is getting a little bit too steep. So if you are a player that is a little bit on the shorter side, you don't want that club sticking straight up in the air at the target. Ideally, we want to get this club to lay down a little bit flatter. You look at a player like John Rahm, shorter swing, club is a little bit on the flatter side. You're going to see almost no high level players that are in a position where that club is very vertical and very short. So there's different reasons for this. It may be a cup in the lead wrist. That is something where if you have a shorter swing and you cup that wrist, now that club is gonna kick more vertical. It may be this back elbow starts to flare on you. So if you get into this position where that swing is a little shorter, you start to flare that elbow up, you're gonna see that club is going to kick more vertical. So it comes down to identifying the root cause. You have to get this elbow to tighten up a little bit and get a little bit more um, external is going to be the exact move here where we're going into external shoulder rotation that's going to kick the elbow in a little bit more. It may be that we need to flatten this lead wrist out. It may be that you need to do both of these. Or another move that I will coach to a lot of players is feeling just a little bit more forearm rotation where we start to feel like that glove logo is rolling up to the sky a little bit more. And what that's going to do is that is going to help flatten that club, uh, flatten that club and get it a little bit flatter for you. The whole reason for doing this is when you have a vertical club, it is going to be very hard to get it to fall behind you, especially in time, like I mentioned. So if you are holding a club and you just hold it with one hand and you hold it straight up in the air, this club is going to feel extremely light. It's not going to feel like there's a whole lot of pressure here. But if you start to flatten this and you start to hold this club in a little bit more of a flat horizontal position, you're going to feel these forearm muscles start to kick in a little bit and that club is going to feel a whole lot heavier. And that is the whole goal here is as we start to get this club a little bit flatter, it's going to feel a little heavier. We're getting the weight of the club more behind you. So now from this position, as you turn, that club can start to shallow. So if you are a player with a shorter swing and you notice that club is vertical and you're early extending down at the bottom, the early extension is sort of a symptom, not really the cause. We have to get that club a little shorter. So this is where one drill that I do like to give to players just so they can start to get this feel is to take an alignment stick and we are going to go about a foot behind the golf ball, something in this vicinity, close to down the target line. What we're going to do is run another alignment stick about halfway down the front of the shaft, half of it sticking up. So as you bring this club back, we want to feel like we're adding in just a little bit more forearm rotation off the start. But ideally, the goal is as this club starts working back, from my point of view, I want the end of this alignment stick here to track down the one that's on the ground. And what you're going to notice as I do this is this club is going to start to flatten out just a little bit more as we start to work back where if I start to stand this club up again, whether it's from extending the lead wrist, starting to flare the elbow, a combination of the two, that's where as we start to get work back, if we start to cup that wrist and flare the elbow, you can see this alignment stick is kicking more to the inside. So that can be a good way for you to feel whatever feels most natural to you to get this club a little bit more into a flat position. So just note that if you do start to add a little bit of forearm rotation and we start to get that glove logo rolling up towards the sky, this is something that can get the club face to open up a little bit. So if you do this and now your path is getting better, your early extension is getting better, but you're still missing it out to the right, 
that, or if you are missing it out to the right for a right-handed player, that's where we may need to do something as simple as strengthen the grip a little bit more. We may need to combine this feel with as we are kind of flattening this forearm, we're also adding a little bit of lead wrist flexion. What that's going to do is usually that is going to start to get that club face to close. So as we start to feel a little bit of that rotation, we can get that left wrist to start to bow a little bit. That's where we can start to get that club face to close down. So it's going to be a different matchup for every player, but if you are struggling, that is where, if you are in the, that short vertical spot, in my opinion, that is one of the worst places you can be and you gotta get that club to flatten out a little bit. Now, if we take a look at a player that went through this change, we're going to see on this top video, he has a tendency to stand this club up relatively steep on, during the backswing. So we are going to get a few lines here where takeaway gets to a great spot. But now as he starts to work this club up, this club starts to stand up a little more vertically than I would prefer. So when we get left arm parallel to the ground, we're gonna get a line right down the shaft and we will kind of make a note of where that is pointed. Now, as we get up to the top of the backswing, we are going to see that club is going to be loaded a little bit more down towards that target line. So as he starts to work down, this club is going to be a little bit more over the top than I would like. If we are looking at where this club is, you can see this club is up through the, uh, the shoulder, or the shaft is up through the shoulder on the way down. That is going to be a steeper, more over the top pattern. Club never quite lays itself down towards this forearm. That club is going to stay up a little bit higher. And this is where some of the early extension and chicken, chicken winging happens habits are going to come from as that rotation starts to stall out a little bit. So if we look at this bottom video now, we are going to see that this club is going to go back into a slightly flatter position where that club is now going to get a little bit further back inside the hands off the takeaway. And now when this lead arm is parallel to the ground, we are going to see the angle of this club or this shaft line here is going to be a little bit flatter than it was in this top video. You can see that green line is pointing a little closer to the golf ball where that red line is pointing a little bit more back towards the foot line. So now as we continue to get this player up to the top of the swing, we are going to see this club is pointing a little bit more out towards 11 o'clock versus the top video here, which is going to point a little bit more up towards 12. And we can see the difference with how this shaft is starting to shallow on the way down. This top video, that club is going to stay up above that shoulder line, get very out in front of him, be very steep. This uh, bottom video here, as he starts to work down, this club is now going to want to shallow a little bit more effectively. So as he works down, we can now see that this club, when the hands are at about waist high or belt, uh, belt buckle high here, huge difference in where this club is coming in from. On this top video again, you can see that shaft is up through the shoulder. Here you can see this shaft is right through the forearm. So that club is shallowing much more effectively and that path shifted to be much more from the inside rather than being steeper and over the top and then having to early extend up and out of this. You can tell just by the impact position here. This player is able to stay in his posture much better on this bottom video, where in this top video he definitely has had to stand up a little bit more and come out of the shot.